Hello everyone and welcome back to the series of Python Unleashed. My name is Ajay and today's topic is name mangling. Name mangling is basically a technique by which we can resolve the object variable naming complex in classes and subclasses. What, is, what does this exactly mean is suppose we have a base class and into that base class we have an object variable name and then we use the same object variable name into the derived class also. In such a case, there is a conflict between two object variable names. So to overcome this issue, we have a technique known as name mangling. So how to do that? Let us just start uh, with Python. Now, this was the tutorial. This was a particular program that I have taken in my previous tutorial where we have learned about multiple inheritance. So you can just see this. I will just uh, revisit this program and uh, let's take a summary this was a class that was student and then you can see these are the object variable names and the member functions and then there was a class with the name teacher okay so these were the these were the two classes and these two classes are independent classes but then we have a third class with the name that is classroom and this particular class has been derived from two classes that is student and teacher so such a scenario is called as multiple inheritance. We have learned this in the previous tutorial. And then we also learned about how to override the member function of the base classes. Like uh, you can see all the member functions have the same name that is enter and display for the class student. And in teacher also we have the same member function that is enter and display. And also in classroom we have the same name. We have learned this how to override this for these, uh, uh, the member functions and also once we override the member functions how to actually evoke the functions of the uh, base classes so you can see over here using the class name dot and then the name of the member function and we have to pass the object to that so this is the tutorial that we had learned in the previous uh, this is what we have learned in the previous tutorial now what we are going to do is if you just uh, closely observe that you know all the uh, all the classes like the base classes had the same name with the name that is called as the object variable name right and over here also okay there is an underscore over here double underscore at this point I will just remove this and we will come back to this why I did this okay over here also I will remove it and uh, I've used over here and uh, over here and that's it okay so if you see this class uh, we had used the same object variable name that is name so this will basically refer the student student name and this will refer to the teacher name and this will refer to the classroom name so these are the three names object variable names which are same and then how do I refer to a particular object if I have to access the object variable into this main program? So if I say A, now A is an object of class that is classroom. So if I say A dot name, if I say A dot name, and if I give some name like X, Y, Z, so this will basically refer to its own object variable that is name out here, right? If I use the name dot a dot name so it will basically refer to its own object variable name that is name then what if if I have to access these names into this main program how do I do that okay for example if I had to access the member function so I will use a student that is the class name dot and then the function name that is display and then I will pass the object but how do I refer to the object variable can I use this like student dot and then I say name okay and then if I say equal to Jack okay so this cannot be used because uh, this particular thing will create a class variable and not the object variable if I say student dot name but nowhere I'm referring to this object I want that this object dot student name should be Jack that is the A object should hold uh, the student name that is Jack. But if I use this class dot name, this will basically create a class object, a new class object. So the object variable 
this will create a new class variable i mean to say so student dot name will basically create a new class variable name and not the object variable name understand this because nowhere i am referring to this object over here okay you can just see this i am nowhere referring to this object a okay so this will create a class variable and not an object variable okay so this cannot work okay so to overcome this issue what we have to do is we have to use the technique of name name mangling now how to do that for that what we need to do is first thing is we need to have a double underscore over here okay double underscore and then name and everywhere i've used that particular variable i will give a double underscore okay and also in the class that is teacher i will use a double underscore over here also i use a double underscore since i've used that into the member function and that's it okay so the first thing that we have learned is we have to use a double underscore to the base classes and then what i can do is if i say a dot name okay let us have this and we will run this program we will have see i'm evoking the function that is display of the class student and i'm evoking the function display of the class teacher and then i'm evoking the function display of the object that will refer to the to its own class that is this one okay now if i run this we will have some output like you can see out here i gave a dot name like x y z just a minute i'll run this again okay and uh, now you can see that we have this classroom name like x y z and over here you can see that name is empty and over here the teacher's name is also empty isn't it so this is okay but what if i have to refer i have to give a object uh, name to the student I, I, the object variable that is name i have to give a value to that how do i do that okay now just understand the technique is you have to use the object name that is a okay then give a dot and then give a single underscore civil single underscore and then name of the class that is student and then you have to give the double underscore and name of the object variable that is name and over here i give something like a j and then i can use the same a dot a single underscore and then the name of the class that is teacher then double underscore and then name and i will give something like vijay okay so name of the student is ajay name of the student will be vijay and name of the classroom that was xyz now if i run this okay you can see now we have the name of the object that is uh, the object variable the name of the teach uh, name of the student is ajay name of the teacher is vijay and name of the classroom is xyz okay so this is the technique how you can uh, refer to the object variables the first thing is that you need to understand that we have to give a double underscore by this we can resolve that conflict so let's we, we will have a double underscore everywhere and then this is the syntax how to use it name of the object dot single underscore name of the class then double underscore name of that particular object variable and then the value okay so this is how you can do it also this by using this technique we can say that uh, you know this name object variable is basically a private variable okay but in reality python in python we don't have anything as private variables as what we have in other programming languages like c++ and java but uh, in python we really don't have anything as private variables okay so this is called as this uh, this particular technique is called as name mangling okay so i hope you understood this technique that's it for today bye for now